Good evening, tubers. It is time to get back on top of this greenhouse and clean it up. I'm going to start by removing two of these spaghetti squash plants. And uh, I think I'm going to leave that first one up there because uh, it still looks like it's got some life. Uh, but I'm going to remove the t first two. And then get on top of these tomato plants over here that have gone completely out of control. Um, I started off with this, using the single stem method. Uh, and I have completely abandoned it. So I'm going to uh, trim them back to where that method is uh, back in place. And I should get rid of about... 75% of the foliage that is over there right now. So sit back and enjoy. Um, let me know what you think. What I'm doing here is I'm trimming all of this excess foliage off that I let get away from me and went back to the single stem. Most of that is suckers. These are additional tomato plants in the making, but uh, I don't need those. I just need to run about 20 foot of vine to where I can manage them. And it's robbing the nutrient solution uh, from the actual fruiting. So all I'm getting is foliage. I want a lot more tomatoes. I'm finish doing that and then I'll probably take this last uh, squash vine down as well. 
clean up that bed down there get ready for some fall planting in here that's the uh, plan anyway sorry about the noise got the fans running here it's pretty warm but I did get this one rail of Dutch buckets done uh, that's what I got out of it off of it probably I don't know one fifth to one tenth of the foliage on there now that there was so hopefully we'll start producing heavy heavily again okay tubers I'm gonna try and show you this here Remember when we uh, talk about planting the tomatoes deep because the little hairs on the side turn into roots well this is a real good example of what we're talking about you see that all of that and all of that was root this was actually laying down inside of this was trying to root and all this craziness I've, I've cleaned out several you see all those are suckers I've taken all the limbs off of it uh, just to get these tomatoes ripe I'm gonna wrap it all up and I'll show you that in a minute but this is what I'm talking about these are roots it's trying to grow into my grant into the um, ground cover or the flooring that's all roots I thought that was a um, pretty good example so I figured it's a good thing to show you I've seen it in a lot of different ways but this is the first time I ever saw it trying to grow down into the greenhouse floor Interesting. as we're trimming these tomato plants up and I showed you how these are basically just vines I cut the leading edge of it off and um, for all these where that where I had tomatoes growing and I, I wanted to save them I want to let those get a chance to get ripe uh, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking everything off except for the tomatoes on the uh, sucker branches that um, are supporting them and I've still got one long vine uh, but I'm going to clip all of these branches to the main vine uh, until these things are red once they're red and I'll harvest those tomatoes I will cut off that branch this whole branch this whole branch was a sucker and I'm gonna just kind of put it all together to make it look like one long vine Just clipping it all together and I'll do it all the way down until I get to there and bring that one over and then I'll string that up to the uh, purlin. Ah, this one has to go. There's another sucker right there. It has, I'm sorry, this speaker is what keeps me uh, going while I'm out here working in the, the greenhouse. Pretty good sound. And I listen to classic rock and roll. This is what it looks like after I'm done. Still got to clean that thing out. But um, I've carried 
four wheelbarrows full. I mean, overfilled, full of foliage out of here. And I still got quite a bit, but you'll see. Uh, still got quite a few tomatoes on here, and it's even better on the other side. In fact, let me just show you the thing you can see up in there. There's quite a few of them on this side. Um, but I put a couple of new plants. I transplanted them from uh, where I have starters in these beds, where I just take have been taking suckers and kind of just sticking them in there and letting them root. This is what fell off while I was working. It's quite a few, but you'll see most of those are small, and that's why I did what I did. I want to make sure I get uh, the bigger tomatoes again. I had uh, somebody ask me how I grow full-size tomatoes in hydroponics. Well, when you stay on top of it and you grow big beef tomatoes, uh, they do pretty well. God bless. Go plant some dirt, nutrient solution, or whatever you have to grow something in. I uh, like what I've got back there with the aquaponics fish water. And we'll see y'all next time.